like to do is show you guys how to simplify um, this radical. It says 5 divided by the square root of 8. Um, and one thing you guys need to kind of know is we know a square number. The square root of 4 is, gives you the integer 2. And the square root of 9 gives you the integer 3. So therefore, the square root of 8 is somewhere going to be between 2 and 3. So it's not going to be a whole number. And what we'll actually notice, if you type in your calculator, um, it's only going to approximate so many dis digits. But the square root of 8 is actually 2.8284271, dot, 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 meaning it goes on forever. So when we're talking about dividing a number, right, if I say 10 divided by 2, what that means is 2 goes into 10 how many times, right? And you say, oh, well, the answer is 5. Well, if I say there's a number that goes on forever, and I can't write down the last digit, it goes on forever, I can't divide that number into a whole number to get an, an answer, right? Because my answer is going to be, again, an imaginary, you know, it's going to be an irrational number. So we can never divide by in, in a, an irrational number. So to get rid of irrational number on the bottom, what we can do is, what we can do is, um, Rationalize the denominator. So what we're going to do is, how do I get rid of the square root of 8? Well, think about it this way. Square root of 8 equals 2.828427, right? And you guys should know that. Let's do, um, let's do square root of 8. Well, first of all, let's do square root of 64. I'm going to do it right. Square root of 64, we understand is 8, right? Well, I could rewrite the square root of 64 as 8 squared equals 8. And what you guys will notice is the square root and the squaring cancel out. So I'm just left with 8 is equal to 8. So what I can do is, if I, how can I get this to be 8 squared, the square root of 8 squared? Well, what I can do is, if I multiply this by square root of 8 on the top and the bottom, what I'll now obtain is 5 times square root of 8 all over the square root of 8 squared. And I just previously showed you that the square root of 8 squared, what cancels out to leave us 5 times the square root of 8 divided by 8. And therefore, that is how we want to write our number. Now, still, this is going to be, you know, irrational. The square root of 8 is still irrational. However, we're at least not dividing by that irrational number. So um, that's how we simplify a radical or a rational, um, that's how we simplify a radical when you have a radical on the bottom.